This is Short Hammer. It is the 23rd of November, 2019, and we are taking a look at BA. Now, BA has had all types of news the last few weeks, and it's sort of driven the stock all over the place. But one of the biggest things to remember about BA is that it is heavily institutionally owned. And what you find out about these institutionally owned um, stocks is that they do what the heck they want. Doesn't matter what the news is. It, this thing could, whatever, it doesn't matter what the news is. So, what you want to watch for is the movement between levels and don't get caught sort of watching, like in the reaction to the news, because a lot of times they'll buy it right back up. It doesn't even matter. So, what you want to watch on BA is, is level to level. So, what I'm watching right now, when we were down in these three, three, uh, let's say three 19s by, 325s that's your buy zone your true sell zone is up here at the 390s by the 399s so i would look into when you get in, in, over the uh, this 378 area when you get above this start looking to exit your long positions and start looking to see if we break above and hold above the 400 for an acceleration to the next level so for me right now what i'm watching for I take numerous intra intraday trades on BA. What I'll be watching for is, are we going to push up above the, or up into the 380 area? And if we do, I know we have, if we get above this 377 ish, we have a little bit of room up in here, maybe to the 389s to the 390s. There's potential, but it depends on how bullish the buyers in BA are. We can see a pullback, to the 362 and maybe even down here around the 347s, 346s, I'll be watching. I'm going to clean out some of these lines because I'll probably be drawing fresh lines for the intraday uh, next week. But I first want to see uh, if those lines are valid, these intraday, these red and these green lines, if those lines are valid headed into next week. So I'll see that on Monday if I, um, if I happen to trade this ticker. But watching these levels, you want to be careful on BA. If you are thinking to fade the 377 area, this 377, 378 area, that's not a bad idea when you see the candle structure. But for me, I will be looking for, let's see, I do here. There actually may be room up here into the three, 377, 378 area. So I'll be watching, watching BA to see what it does around this area. I may actually not even, because it could gap up, you never know. I may not take a trade on this until I see it close above this area. Then I'll be interested in taking it up to the 387, potentially 390s. But I do like the setup on BA. Uh, the news is funny, so we'll see. But between this 378 and this 362, I'll be watching to see how we move. And for me to take a, a bigger position, it has to break and close above this for me to take it to the next level or break below and close below this for me to look to take it down here into the lower 350s. So we'll see on BA. And if we look at the five minute chart, just take a peek at the, the intraday. Let's see, where are you there? Boom. So if we're looking at the intraday, what we'll see is it's Friday. So on Friday, I believe on Thursday I did a video and what I was looking for was a push up into the 375-ish. What day? No, it was, it was probably Wednesday. But either way, what we're going to be watching for now, if you look at the open here on, um, on Friday, this dip down below the 367 level, this was clearly a buy zone. And you'd ride this back up and look to scale out some shares here. So going into Monday, what I'll be watching for is any pullbacks into the 370, 54 to the 369 area for a potential long position. But we, I'm going to wait to see how the pre-market looks. But I know that these levels are there. So I'm going to change these lines to potential buy lines just on the intraday. And I'll see if we see any pullback into those areas. But I do know that if I get long here, that I need to look to exit right around this area here. And the break and hold above this, we have room and extension up into potentially the 375 area. 
but I'll be watching that on Monday on uh, BA. I want to see where we open because we could always gap up, gap down. Anything could happen by, by, uh, by Monday cash session. So I'll watch to see where we are at that point. And from there, based on these levels, the, the 370.54, the 369.70s, and the 367s, I will be looking to take a position where they're long or short, just based on these levels and also based on candle structure. If you like this video, click the like button and don't hesitate to subscribe to our channel, Power of Pivots, to get more videos like these and also videos from Elisa and her Power of Pivots uh, strategy and script.